Hello, good morning. Wow, what a morning already. Um, just do that. There we go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my timing is completely off today. So uh, there's some stuff already in progress, but that's okay. Um, good morning. This is Casual Coffee with Ken, and this is Ken in the Kitchen. And today I am trying a recipe that I saw over on uh, the YouTube channel Food Wishes. And if you haven't watched it, it's really fun. I will go ahead and link to the, uh, the YouTube channel below. Uh, the guy's name is Chef John, and he's really entertaining to, to watch and to listen to. I guess it's mostly listen to because he really does voiceover more than uh, on camera. I don't think I've ever actually seen him on camera before. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fun stuff. So this is for a roasted garlic uh, noodle dish with oyster sauce and a bunch of other fun interesting sounding uh, sauces. So I, I thought I'd try it. I, I, I did a, a cold noodle dish a, uh, a couple weeks ago on this show, and this is a, a more traditional warm noodle dish. So I hope it'll be fun. Thank you so much for joining me. How was your weekend? I hope everybody's weekend was good. Hope you did something that was uh, entertaining, that was fun, that, uh, that kind of recharged your batteries for the week ahead. It's Monday, but try not to let that get you down because um, yeah I, I think it'll be uh, I think everything will be okay and my cat is not happy that I'm doing this every time I talk um, at any kind of volume my cat is uh, is never happy about that <laughs> I don't know why she's the weirdest cat she but she really doesn't like it when we talk she uh, she is of the opinion that we have two places we need to be and that's either on the couch or in bed sleeping and if we're on the couch, she is on either my lap or Karina's lap, and we are not to talk. If we start talking or laughing, she really gets uh, vocal about her displeasure with that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you're doing well, like I said. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, start uh, seeing what we can, what trouble we can get into here in the kitchen. Um, if you are new here... Uh, please go ahead and click uh, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube and on uh, you know Facebook and all that. And I can see your comments down here in my monitor, so say hi. Uh, I like it when people say hi, and bonus points if you get that reference. Uh, and if you do say hi in the chat, let me know where in the world you're watching from, because I love that aspect of doing a live stream, is being able to talk to people from literally all over the world. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let me jump over to the prep area, and we'll take a look at the mess I've got going here. So let's see, we've got a bunch of stuff we need to do today. Uh, so we're going to be using in this recipe some uh, cloves of garlic. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice just broke, and it's well past puberty. Uh, some butter. And that is uh, unsalted butter, uh, four tablespoons to be exact. Got some uh, green onion here to give it some color and a little bit more flavor. As far as the assortment of sauces, we have some oyster sauce. Gotta love the oyster sauce. Sorry for the autofocus, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, Kikoman, this is the regular soy sauce, not the low sodium version. We actually prefer the low sodium and we use it all the time, but I just bought a small bottle for this recipe. Uh, sesame oil and uh, Worcestershire. That's it, right? Worcestershire sauce? Sure. And last but definitely not least for the sauces, fish sauce. I've never had anything with fish sauce that I'm aware of. Um, so this should be interesting. And then we've got some uh, crushed red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat there. And then we've got some uh, Parmesan Reggiano. 
and some ground cayenne red pepper, which always brings some wonderful flavor to any party it's invited to. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to start combining, I think, all of the sauces into one ramekin, first of all. And let's go ahead and let's see. So first we need one and a half tablespoons of the soy sauce. As usual, I will post a link to the recipe in the description down below for you. So there's one. And that's about a half, so one and a half tablespoons of the soy sauce. I love the smell of soy sauce. Absolutely. Okay, and then we've got one tablespoon of the oyster sauce. That's funny, it actually kind of smells like oysters. Oh, this is a thick sauce, isn't it? Okay, one. Wow, that's thick. That's like uh, molasses. Not what I was expecting at all. Okay, so let's get that in there. I've decided I truly enjoy the smell of most ingredients. I That's kind of why I wanted to start doing this, actually. Because every time Karina would start cooking something, usually meat uh, with onions, I like, oh, that smells so good, I want to do that. One and one half teaspoons of Worcestershire. A teaspoons? Teaspoons can, not tablespoons. Okay, let's just set that aside before you do something horrible. So let's just uh, do this. <laughs> Read the recipe, Ken. Okay, so there's one. One half of the Worcestershire, and then one teaspoon of the Asian fish sauce. Get out of the bottle. It doesn't want to get out of the bottle. There we go. So. Yep, one teaspoon Asian fish sauce. So that's good there. I'm kind of moving these all off to the side as soon as I'm done with them so I don't uh, grab the wrong thing accidentally. And then we've got a quarter teaspoon of the sesame oil. Go slow, Ken. You don't want to flub this up. Okay, there we go. One quarter teaspoon of the sesame oil. Nice. And then it says a pinch of the ground cayenne pepper, so I'll just kind of think that's a pinch. <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe Ken just messed it up completely, over cayenning it. We'll see. And then uh, let's just use our tiny whisk to combine everything here. And we're done with that. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so now... 
we need some garlic. And you're supposed to get all of your, uh, your sauce and your garlic all prepared uh, so that you can move very quickly because this doesn't take very long to come together. So I'll just put that in the uh, chopper. And the chopper makes short work of that. I love this thing. If you have it in your budget at all to get one of these, get one of these. Because it really does make your life a lot easier. Okay, so we've got that there. And... What else am I going to need? I will need to grate some Parmigiano Reggiano and this, what do we need here? It's going to be about 57 grams, I think. So let's see if I can manage to weigh this out. Got to switch it over to grams. There we go. This is another thing that everyone needs, I think, is a kitchen scale. So, okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Truth be told, I, I'm doing this with a microplane because I wanted to, because I love the microplane since we got it. It's just been a game changer for Karina and me, the limited times I've done it in the kitchen. Ah! <laughs> I think I measured wrong. I don't think I'm going to need 57 grams. This is a lot of Parmesan. <laughs> I am making a mess everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous, Ken. Okay. Nah. Wow, this is a lot of Parmesan. Okay. Yeah, this was a bad idea using the microplane. I totally should have just used the box grater. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, stop making a horrible mess. And I can always add more if I need to, and grate a little bit more later. But for now, we'll call that good. And again, I'm just kind of, kind of winging all this. Okay, so let's uh, switch cameras now. I think what I'm going to try to do at this point is uh, going to bring together the onions, the roast. I'm going to roast the onions with the butter. So, roast the onions. Roast the garlic. It's not onions, Ken. It's garlic. Okay, so let's turn this up to medium heat here and we'll get our butter in. Get in there. There we go. Now it's my understanding you don't want to do this too fast. Uh, you don't want to have too high of a heat. And you really want to add the garlic in 
kind of right at the last second so you don't uh, burn it, which is apparently pretty easy to do with garlic. So we'll just let that slowly come up to temperature here. And let's see who's watching today. Oh, hi, HodgePodge. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Uh, not sure when you came into the show, but we're attempting to do a uh, roasted garlic noodle dish with oyster sauce and, uh, and sesame oil and, uh, and uh, fish sauce and Parmesan and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about this, actually. All right, that's starting to look pretty good here. I, ju I uh, just put the temperature up a little bit, so it'll, it'll take as long. But again, you don't want to go too high because you don't want to burn the garlic. So, and just so you're aware, I went ahead and uh, went ahead and uh, did my noodles um, beforehand. So uh, they're already boiled and you can use any noodles according to Chef John for this recipe. So I chose to use linguine because it's pretty much my favorite noodle of the skinny noodles. Uh, I really like pappardelle noodles, the, the thick wide ones, love those. Uh, HodgePodge has her air conditioner on, so she has to listen extra hard. Okay, well, um, yeah, go ahead and turn it up. I have my microphone uh, set to just above what would be considered comfortable if you're wearing headphones, because uh, I find a lot of people seem to, when they're watching things on their phones, to be using some sort of earbuds. So that's kind of what I shoot for uh, volume-wise. Uh, but yeah. So uh, I hope you're doing well too. Uh, oh, I hear my butter. My butter is starting to do stuff. Oh wow. I've never heard butter make that noise. Oh. You have your ear against the speaker, you need a better phone. Well, you might be able to buy, for cheaper than a, a new phone, a Bluetooth speaker that you can hook your phone up to via Bluetooth. Um, those are, you can get those pretty inexpensively, at least uh, when compared to buying a, a whole new phone, unless you really want a new phone. Okay, so there's the butter. Wow. God, I've never heard that noise before. That's freaking me out. Okay. So we'll put uh, put the garlic in now. And I guess the idea is to just just barely toast the garlic because <clears throat> again you don't want it to burn so. We'll let this go for just a minute or so. You can see the garlic is already starting to get some color on it, it looks like. And of course, as you might expect, this smells amazing. Because when does garlic not smell good? Let it go for just a little bit longer here. And then according to Chef John, uh, you are to add the sauce directly into it and that, at the point that you add the sauce in, it stops the garlic from cooking any further in the mixture. So here we go. 
Here's the sauce. Oh, this smells great. I mean, obviously you can definitely uh, smell the, the soy sauce, but I think I'm detecting the faint odor of the fish and oyster sauce as well. Okay, so I killed the heat. And now according, I believe, to Chef John for this recipe, you're supposed to just kind of grab the noodles and you want a little bit of the pasta water to kind of come over with the noodles. Because uh, the pasta, the starch and the pasta water helps everything kind of thicken up. This smells amazing, guys. I really wish you were able to uh, to see this, or smell it, rather. Makes me hungry, says HodgePodge. Well, thank you. Uh, glad I am cooking something that looks appetizing. Got that, and now I guess we can add our freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, right? Because cheese, why wouldn't you put cheese on this? I'm gonna mix that in and then I'll add a little bit more. Oh yeah, this smells so good. More cheese, more better, right? And as you can see, this really comes together very quickly. Once you have all of your, if you have all your mise en place uh, prepared, in advance. This all comes together really quickly. The part that takes the longest is obviously just boiling the noodles. But yeah, excited about this. Okay, let's, let's get a bowl here. And yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be good. Could you use ramen? Um, yeah, he says you can use any noodle you want with this recipe. I just really like linguine, so. Your meals are simple too. Well, thank you. I, I try to look for recipes that aren't too difficult because I'm brand new in the kitchen, so. And then Sean says, totally not my thing, but I hope you both enjoy it. Yeah, I, Karina and I really do like our Asian noodles, so. So let's go ahead and this in a bowl here. Oh, I don't know if you can really see how it really did create a, a sauce that is just looks amazing. So good. Okay. Sorry, I, I have yet to learn how to make my plates, my plating look pretty. So, uh, but that's something that comes with practice, I guess. I can go ahead and try to wipe around the edge of the bowl with a napkin. And then, of course, we can uh, sprinkle on some green onion or, you know, just throw it around like I just did. 
gives it some color and a little bit more flavor. And I like onion, so I'm going to use a lot of onion. <laughs> Looks yummy, you say. Well, thank you. Uh, here's hoping, so we're about to find out. And I am lousy at chopsticks, so I'm going to use a fork. <laughs> And I know practice makes perfect, but uh, now is not the time. Nah. Sorry for loud. Uh, <laughs> now is not the time to practice that. Okay, here we go. What's in the pan looks good too. Yeah, it's uh, it's garlic and all kinds of fun oils. So here we are. Hope you can kind of see that. Ah. Uh, Smells great. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, one of my favorite dishes that Karina does is her uh, peanut butter noodles. This is a close second. This is good. I actually can't wait, wait to make this for her. Mm. That, that is freaking good. <laughs> that is my favorite. This is the best thing I've made yet on here since I started doing this show. This... Yes, Ken is happy um, because, yeah, that is fantastic. Okay, I have found a recipe that is going to be incorporated into our dinner times. Absolutely. Um, Hodgepodge says, I think I will add peas. Yeah, absolutely. It, it probably could use a little more greenery in here, and, and peas would be good as it's kind of an Asian dish, uh, bamboo shoots and or water chestnuts would probably really help with uh, giving you that textural um, contrast. I think that would be good. Mm. Seriously, the best thing I've made so far. This is fantastic. I have some leftover noodles that I am going to save and put in the refrigerator. And the rest of this comes together really easy. So I think, I really think I'm going to make this for dinner tonight. This is so, I cannot, I can't stop eating it. Mmm. And the noodles came out cooked perfectly. Um, it said he says you can use any noodle. I would stick with the uh, the more uh, not the wide noodles. I wouldn't use like the flat wide egg noodles for something like this. I think it's a better experience. It's just as far as eating it. <clears throat> um, with just linguine, ramen, uh, even spaghetti noodles would work really well for this. I don't, I think the texture would be off <clears throat> somehow if you try to use uh, like the, the wide flat pappardelle or anything like that. So, fantastic. Please try this. Sean, I know you say this is not your thing. If you like Asian flavors at all, like if you, if you just like going out for Chinese food, you will like this. Absolutely. It's, I know it has some weird ingredients in there like uh, oyster sauce and fish sauce. Um, one, they both smell great to me, but two, they're in there in such small amounts that it really, it, it adds another dimension of flavor to it that you wouldn't get if you just used soy sauce. But, it's uh, 
It's so good. It's so good, man. And you can adjust the spice level as you see fit by adding some more uh, cayenne or adding uh, more. Um, oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot the crushed red pepper flakes. Let me put some of those on here just a, just a little bit. Okay. I don't imagine you need a lot of crushed red pepper flakes. Uh, I need I need a camera that auto focuses better. All right, let's mix those in there and then give this one more bite. <laughs> there we go. Just a little bit more of a kick of heat. Do it, do it now. <laughs> Make this. Uh, the recipe is linked down below. And yeah, I uh, I am so happy right now. This is so good. Okay, I have nothing else to do. This is it. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. If you had fun today, do me a favor, like and subscribe and share the video with your friends. And, and again, if you have any uh, suggestions for dishes you would like to... Um, to see me try, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see everybody back here on Wednesday at 9.30 for another Ken in the Kitchen episode. And uh, be sure to watch um, my Facebook page uh, as well as my YouTube for uh, and Instagram for announcements of, of my recipes I'm going to be doing. I usually put up little... Uh, little trailers that uh, kind of announce what I'm going to be doing a couple of days before I do it. So thank you so much. I hope everyone's doing well. Have a great rest of your day. Be safe, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you all on Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, and uh, you take care. All right. See you later.